Well, well, well. Donald Trump is toast. He is absolutely going to prison. Finally, justice is served. We just found out. I'm announcing that today we are filing a lawsuit against Donald Trump for violating the law as part of his efforts to generate profits for himself, his family, and his company. The complaint demonstrates that Donald Trump falsely inflated his net worth by billions of dollars to unjustly enrich himself and to cheat the system, thereby cheating all of us. And now back to reality. I'm not very optimistic that much is going to come of this. Elites like Trump and Pelosi and Biden usually get away. Not always, but usually. So I wouldn't get too excited if you're on the liberal side and you're thinking, oh, man. Um, but I talk a lot about propaganda on this channel, so let's talk about the propaganda that's about to come. So based on the tactics that I've seen come from right-wing media in general, right? they work for the Republican Party. Donald Trump is essentially the head of the party that should discuss anyone who really loves the Constitution as a, as a real so-called patriot. I mean, the idea that this civilian guy is, is, is head of a political party. I mean, former president, irrelevant. The guy's not in government. He should not be running a political party as a civilian. But anyway, regardless, he is essentially at the top of the Republican Party. So any attack on him in any way, especially something like this legally, is an attack on the Republican Party or will be perceived as such. And right-wing media essentially exists to prop up the establishment Republican Party. So they need to go, you know, hardcore to protect Trump. So if I were a right-wing commentator, that would be my moan. This is not a good look. So here are some of the tactics that I would utilize. I wouldn't want to talk too much about the actual charges and what they're talking about, what Trump did, going into details about it. Um, I would avoid specifics. Um, something that would be very effective is to, again, use the tried and true technique of just saying it's uh, it's the weaponizing of the DOJ. This is all political. Um, they're trying to stop Trump from running for office. Um, you know, so that's perfect because it doesn't matter how much evidence is found or how bad the thing is that he did. He basically is invincible because no matter what the story is or the information, you can simply just argue that it's political and your gullible audience will fall for it. Right. Um, you know, partisan Americans, whether they're left wing or right wing, are pretty gullible. Um, they drop their guards to media that panders to their ideology. So if I'm a right winger watching a, a, a right wing media, most of them, you know, will be easy to fool and manipulate because they're not going to be very skeptical about anything you say. Now, if they're watching liberal media, they'll be super skeptical about everything. If they're watching right wing media that panders and says stuff they like, they'll have their guard dropped and they won't really question a lot of stuff being said. So that makes it easy for me. If I were a right wing commentator, I would just keep saying it's political. Um, I would try to pretend like the timing is suspicious and just pretend as if I'm not aware of the pressure that these corrupt Democrats are under in terms of they're probably going to lose a lot of power because of the midterm elections. So they don't make moves now. They won't be able to do anything. Now, the Democrats don't really care about any of this stuff. It's all political, just like the Republicans. So um, it's not that they're worried about being, you know, holding Trump accountable, but, you know, these are potential wins. Like, I was the one who finally took Trump down or whatever, right? Um, one thing I'm not going to want to discuss is I will, I won't, I won't want to discuss the potential of two things to be true. That this attorney general could be looking at this from a perspective of how good it's going to look for her politically to be the one to take down Trump or to go after Trump this hard, right? That can be true. And it also can be true that what she's saying is absolutely legit. Right. All the charges are legit. Trump is a major fraud scam artist and he's getting treated the way that you and I would. Right. Finally, I mean, you got away. We wouldn't get, get away for so long. So that part, no. But this part now, you know, it's normal. You know, we, we're a country of laws. You break the law. This is what happens. Unfortunately, normally people like Trump get away and he has been getting away. And now, you know, the law is coming after him. Right. That can be true that he is a fraud and a scam artist and a criminal and he should be charged. And he should suffer some serious consequences because he did some serious crimes. That can be true. And also, this woman could be looking at it as, let me put on a show. 
to get the political benefit um, of it. But the key thing is that I'm not going to want to go into details because the stuff that, that she mentioned in the press conference, it's pretty damning. It, it does not look good for Trump. Um, if I'm a right-wing commentator, I know my audience, be just being humans, the fact that most of them will vote for Trump, right? They will still vote for Trump. Even the ones that say they don't like Trump or whatever, um, they will still vote for him. So I have to shield them from the reality that they are willing to put a con man back in office for a second term. That's an uncomfortable truth. So as a right-wing commentator, I'm going to want to shield them from that. So I'm not going to want to talk too much about the details that she broke down about, you know, the value of the property or whatever. But what I will do, if I'm a really good propagandist, somebody like a Ben Shapiro or Stephen Crowder, is I will pretend to go into those details by vaguely suggesting that what he's doing is a normal thing. This is what's done in real estate. It happens all the time. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's good business to sort of maximize your profits based on exploitation of the loophole. So it's legal stuff. You know, you're allowed to blah, blah, blah. But, but again, I won't want to go into details because the stuff, the details are bad for Trump and I want to protect Trump and I want to sort of coddle my audience. So I'm just going to make vague statements about, you know, this is normal practice. And, um, you know, if it was so bad, then why, why did he get away for so long? Which is a legitimate question to ask, right? Why, why was he able to do this in New York? Why did New York not care until just before the election, <laughs> right? I would play that game which will be very, very effective. It'll be extremely hard for most uh, conservatives watching uh, right-wing media to see through that. Um, I, I, would have, I would say a high percentage of them will fall for that trick. Just say it's political, talk about the timing of the election, just ignore the fact that if they don't do these things now, you know, once Republicans get in power, they're going to be able to shut a lot of this stuff down. So the Democrats need to act now, regardless of what the intentions are, whether it's political purposes or or you know they're trying to make a name for them whatever it is regardless they need to act now so to suggest that the timing now you know oh it's definitely because of the election and they're trying to keep trump you don't think the democrats would want nothing less than for trump to run against whoever their candidate is you know how hated trump is by their voting base so much so that a bunch of them who didn't even like biden voted for biden just to get rid of trump so you really think they're doing this to stop Trump from running for office when the way things are now, anyone but Trump, right, who doesn't seem crazy, doesn't have a record of just being a scam artist, like scammer, right? Anyone just sort of sort of look sort of normal has a great chance of beating the Democrats. Right. So. That is what I'm expecting. So I'm expecting them to just double down on the, uh, this is political, they're going after Trump, and now involving his family. Um, I would paint images of like fascism and, and government overreach, and you know I would talk about these liberals cheerleading this. They don't realize that the same thing can be done to them if they could go after Trump. And what if it's, next thing it's your family that they're, they're going after because you disagree with them, right? I would say ridiculous things like that and i'm pretty sure most of my audience will fall for it and i'll get a lot of engagement a lot of views and therefore money um never mind the damage i'm doing to the country right from a right-wing commentator just like partisan left-wing uh commentators all that matters is how much views and attention i can get how much subscribers i can get how much money i can make that's all that matters country be damned right um everything else be damned it's all about the views anything for views and then just mental note just remember this when republicans get in power they're going to try to replicate what's happening now they're going to pretend like this was all you know it's a political attack whatever whatever and then they're going to be like okay no no we're going to do it right and they're going to be coming up with all kinds of nonsense to try and go after um not all of it's nonsense um like investigating fauci i would not say is nonsense he should be investigated um, but they, it won't really be necessarily a serious investigation. It'll be political. But the same people who will talk about all the stuff is political um, that's happening now, going after Trump and his allies. I want you to remember those people because when the Republicans are doing it, and it will be very, very clear that it absolutely is political, and they are weaponizing the Department of Justice, you will hear crickets from the right complaining about it's political or whatever. And if you really push some of them really hard on this, they're going to say, well, the Democrats did it too. That's American politics in a nutshell. So stay tuned. All the deflections and distractions and 
watch right wing media just leap into action to shield Trump once again from accountability to protect the Republican Party um, from the hit on their image and their branding, which can come from what's happening right now regarding this uh, this case. Right. Notice how they will utilize the very techniques I described in this video. Remember, don't want to talk much about the details of what he's being charged with, the evidence that they presented. Just talk of it in a very vague manner and suggest that this is normal practice. Talk about, you know, uh, what about all the other people who are doing this? How come they're not in, being charged, right? All kinds of distractions and deflections. You want to point your audience attention away from the facts at hand, which are inconvenient, the evidence and the claims of what Trump did that are being made officially in courts. Right. You definitely don't want to look at the court documents. You don't want to send people to the, the website to look at the court documents themselves. You want to tell them what to think. Right. It's all political. It's all political it's because of the election, blah, blah, blah. And this is a normal thing. Right. You want to brainwash your audience and make them know what to think rather than show them the actual what happened and allow them to come to their own conclusions. Right. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. This is the baby channel, the baby comment section below. Click on the like button, subscribe, smash that bell. Be well. Until next time.